Hello everyone, today I will introduce the view azimuth and distance function in the forestry module of LiDAR 360. This function allows you to see the distance and azimuth of each tree relative to other trees after completing individual tree segmentation, which helps in locating trees during forestry operations. You can find this function in the TLS forest module in the toolbox and double click to open it. Alternatively, you can directly search for View Azimuth and Distance in the toolbox and double-click to open the tool. In the opened View Azimuth and Distance pop-up, select the TreeDB file or CSV file corresponding to the Point Cloud file and click OK to generate two windows, the 2D Plot Win and the View Azimuth and Distance windows. The 2D Plot Win window is a two-dimensional canvas that can display the reference position, the position and ID of each tree, and the azimuth and distance of the trees relative to the reference point. In the function window, you can set the reference point and display information. By setting the position information of the reference point, the two-dimensional canvas will display the azimuth and distance of all individual trees relative to this reference point. The reference point will be shown as a red box in the window, and the position of the reference point will be updated after setting the reference position and clicking Apply. You can set the max radius as distances. When this parameter is checked, individual trees within the set distance from the reference point will be connected to the reference point. If unchecked, the distance lines of all individual trees relative to the reference point will be displayed. The color of the distance lines can be customized through the line color setting. Additionally, you can choose whether to display the azimuth and distance values on the canvas by setting whether to show these values. After completing the above steps as needed, click Save Plot to save the current drawing on the two-dimensional canvas as a JPG file and click Save Attribute to save the azimuth and distance as a CSV file. Clicking the OK button will save both the plot and the attributes simultaneously. That's all for the View Azimuth and Distance function. Thank you for watching.